everybody, it's Dr. Sam Robbins. Today's topic is about how antidepressants or SSRIs actually cause weight gain and belly fat and decrease your metabolism and actually cause you to want to eat more. So if you are taking antidepressant or SSRIs, if this is something you're dealing with and you want solutions and you want to know the cause and how to fix this, today's video is for you. So with that said, let's get started with today's video. Now, did you know that clinical depression affects one in five adults in the United States? That's 20% of the population. Now, one of the most common side effects is weight gain and how up to 40% of people taking antidepressant medications, including the popular SSRIs, which stands for Selective Serotonin Reuptake Inhibitors, drugs such as Lexapro or Paxil or Prozac, Cymbalta and Zoloft, can actually cause weight gains of over 15 pounds. Now, some drugs are even worse, such as Remarin, which is a noradrogenic antagonist, has the highest weight gain risk of over 50%. Now, the initial clinical studies on such drugs a long time ago, they didn't show these negative side effects only because they were very shortly run, about eight to 12 weeks. However, Longer clinical studies have clearly shown that the longer you use these drugs, the more weight you can gain. Of course, it doesn't happen to everyone, and some people may even lose weight. However, for sure, both clinically and empirically, empirically meaning in the real world, the use of these drugs after three months starts to cause weight gain. Now, what's crazy is that the weight gain continues with regular use as long as up to 10 years or more. So it's not like some initial weight gain that your body has to adapt to because it's a new drug. Simply stated, the longer you use these drugs, the more weight you'll gain year after year for up to 10 years or even longer. Additionally, these negative weight gain effects tend to affect women a little bit more than men. Now the worst part of it all is getting off of these drugs after a few years did not cause weight loss. Now, one big reason for this is after so many years, your body has a new set point. It's adapted to this new body weight. Basically, it's called homeostasis, and thus it will now keep this higher body fat level because it's now it's part of the body. Not to mention, another cause of the weight gain, which I'll get to in a minute, is also creating just negative eating habits, which is obviously hard to do after so many years. So the next question is, how do antidepressants actually cause weight gain? Now, if you've been following my information for any length of time, you know that I believe that genetics aside, the way you look and feel has to do with your hormones and neurotransmitters. Basically, they're like brain chemicals. Now, one thing antidepressants do is they negatively affect your hormones. For example, one thing they do is they decrease testosterone while increasing estrogen levels. Both of these are negative changes in both men and women, which will then cause muscle loss because of the lower testosterone and weight gain because of the higher estrogen levels. Additionally, there is a decrease in thyroid hormone production and thus the slowing of your metabolism. Another reason is that serotonin, which is how these drugs work, actually causes you to crave more quote-unquote junk food, basically more carbohydrates, more fatty foods, and more processed foods. These foods are obviously very dense in calories. They're very high in calories, so it's easier to gain weight. Additionally, serotonin increases your appetite. So not only do you crave these high-calorie foods more, you're also eating more of them due to higher hunger levels. Okay, so what's the solution to all this? Well, I can't give you medical advice here, so please speak to your doctor. However, I can report to you what's worked for many, many people. One thing you want to do is maybe lower the dose of your drug. Many times, doctors prescribe a higher dose of a drug that's needed. Remember, drugs are super powerful. A little goes a long way. Another option is to change the drug. Remember, not all drugs work exactly the same or affect you or your body the same, your genetics. For example, anecdotally speaking, Effexor, one of the SSRIs, tends to cause less weight gain than the others. And Wellbutrin seems to be the least likely to cause weight gain. 
Again, you need to speak to your doctor about all this because maybe they'll cause less weight gain, but maybe they won't be as effective for your emotional needs. Obviously, another option is to do things naturally. There are literally really specific natural herbs and vitamins and minerals that actually help naturally improve serotonin levels and other neurotransmitters in the body that'll create a calming effect, happier feelings, more confidence and control. However, they won't cause, you know, the typical side effects such as sexual side effects or weight gain because they work naturally with your body, unlike drugs that artificially work against your body. And some of these herbs actually help cause weight loss by decreasing your appetite. Now, one of the most popular mood enhancing solutions is called Provanix, and it actually helps balance important neurotransmitters without weight gain or other negative side effects such as sexual side effects. And I put the link below uh, in the description area for more details about Provanix, how it works, the research reviews, and so forth. Now, another option is to obviously continue using the current drug, but take specific herbs or supplements that will increase your metabolism and decrease your appetite, basically undoing the weight gain problems of the antidepressant drugs. Now, one of the best natural supplements is called Lean Optimizer, and it has a 20-year proven track record, and it works by optimizing your fat-burning hormones, as well as increasing your metabolism and decreasing your appetite. And as a side benefit, it also improves your mood as well. And I put a direct link to Lean Optimizer below in the description area uh, for more details, how the ingredients work, and so forth. Now, the good news is that both of these natural supplements are safe to take with your antidepressants and SSRIs. People have not reported any negative side effects. Now, many people actually end up using a lower dose of their medication after a while, so that's another benefit. So make sure you educate yourself about this topic because it's not going to magically fix itself. So the more you know, the better. Gaining excess weight is not good for your physical or mental or emotional health, and I think you already know this. So take action today, make improvements, and look at the helpful links below in the description area. As well, let me know in the comments section if you've had side effects, which drug has caused the most weight gain, or maybe what have you done to lose the, the weight that caused these drugs, you know, that caused you to gain the weight. As always, you know, if you're not already subscribed, please do so and click the bell icon so you'll be notified when similar videos are available. And as always, Thanks for listening. Thanks for watching. Wishing you a very happy and healthy day.